Amen. 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 And while you get standing, I'm going to ask you to get your Bible. Turn with me to the book of Matthew. It's a familiar passage of scripture. Matthew 19 chapter. Amen. I'm going to read the 16 through the 26th verse. Matthew 19, 16 through 26th verse. Just thank God. Truly God is worthy to be praised. 16, 19 and 16 through 26 verse. What does it say? And behold, Look at one this. came. One came. And said unto him, yes. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And I look at the 16th verse and it said, he said, what good thing? And see, that's how people are in this hour. They want to know what good thing. What good thing yes. should I do? But see, it's got to be, you got to continue to do things. You know, you got to continue in this word. There ain't no good thing. You got to continue doing things that pleases God. Should I do that I may have eternal life? And he want to do something. And people want to get caught up in religious. And they want to say, I want to do something. But I'm here to let you know. But God has a word for his question. What did he say? And he said unto him, why calleth thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life keep the commandments. He said keep the commandments if you would enter into life. What does it say in the 18th verse? He saith unto him which Jesus said thou shall do no murder thou shall not commit adultery thou shall not steal thou shall not bear false witness honor thy father and thy mother and thou shall love thy neighbor as thyself. Look at this. The young man saith unto him all these things have I kept from my youth up what lack I yet? What is it that I need to do? Go ahead. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. And look what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. He said, go and sell. He told him, you, this is what I need you to do. And what it says in the 22nd verse. But when the young man heard that saying, you heard that saying, look at how that said, when he heard that saying, just like so many people, when I hear that, what did he say? He went away sorrowful. He had an opportunity, but he went away sorrowful. Isn't it amazing? So many people take the same route. Go ahead. For he had great possessions. Go ahead. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, yes. they were exceeding amazed. Saying, well, they was amazed because they looked at the rich people had a first class ticket. That's the way they looked at it. They thought because they were rich, you know, they, they had it. They had they had access you know so many times we think because people rich they bless but that's not the way it goes they just thought that he had money and fame he had power and and, and but 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 if he can't make it in they asked the question what, what about us he said who then can be saved what does it say but jesus beheld them and said unto them with men this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. We just thank God for the reading of the word. You can be seated. I'm going to take for, just for my topic, going to look at the, the 19th verse, not the 19th, 19th chapter and the 21st verse. What it says, Jesus said unto him, if thou will be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. in heaven not on earth and come and follow me so many people like this this rich young ruler so many people just like him they're trying to figure out how can I do it but for my topic, I'm going to say today to each and every one, and I say like Jesus possibly said to him, there is no other way. Mm. There is no other 
way. This story is found in Mark and in Luke, and here it is in Matthew, the 20th. Here it is in, in, in his rich young ruler. You know, here he was thinking that he can get in a way that he thought. There is no other way. The Bible said, there is a way that seemeth right to men, but the end thereof is the way of death. You know, you know, and so many times people, you know, they put things in a place they shouldn't be, but there should be nothing above God. You know, but here he was, you know, he had something that he had put in front of God because you know, Jesus knew that his heart was not right. And Jesus attacked him right where his problem was. And he hit him right, it, right, right there in his heart. He said, go and sell. Because he had some issues. He had some issues. He had some stuff. And see, so many times people allow stuff to get in the way. But he called them good because back during this time, the Jews at that time believed that performing, you know, good deeds would would, 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 would help you. It would, it would it would guarantee you salvation. That's what they believed during that time. That's why he said, "Good master." So he tried to make it sound good, and that's how people in the day time they try to make things sound good, and they comment and, and saying all the right things. They were religious, but yet lost, and they saying they love the Lord. And they said they want to make it to heaven, but yet still they are not willing to do what God is asking them to do. Oh, Jesus was on his way to the cross, and, and he 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 was he had a, a he was on a mission, and here he was being stopped by this. This young young man, and he was rich, and, but this man did not want to let go of his riches. He didn't want to let go of his stuff. And yeah. see, you gotta understand when it comes to serving God, you gotta make sure you put it all down. Uh -huh. You gotta lay it all down. And he had to let him know, you know, if thou would be perfect, uh -huh. he let him know if you want to be right. If you want to be one to say you love God, if, if you want to be one that says, oh, God is everything, oh, you got to do it the God's way. You know, because he had, he was morally good. All right. He was morally good. So many people are morally good because there's Ten Commandments. The first four deal with God and man, and the second six deal with, you know, you know man and people. So the only thing he would focus on, his relationship with people. Oh, but, he, that was, but when you look at Exodus 20 and 3, that's where his problem was. Exodus 23 said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And what he had before God was his possession. And that's what he said, how he kept all his commandments. He talked about all the things he did. So he had the relationship with man. He had the relationship with mankind, but he, he didn't have the relationship he needed with God. He, he had a father and mother, and he loved the neighbor himself, but he was struggling with the most important thing. He had a problem with covenants. He had a problem with that stuff. He was rich, and the richness that he had, it had him. He didn't have it. And we got to be careful that stuff don't have us. Yes. That stuff don't consume us. You know, the power said, you know, it said, it let her know what a man, you know, you got to understand man, you know, because, you know, you can, what is a man profit? You know, the man can get, he gain the whole world and lose his soul. Our soul is precious. We cannot allow that our soul to be lost. You know, he was, he was struggling with the most important part you know, that he of his life and his part most important part of any of our life is yeah. salvation. Man. And he went before Jesus Man. and Jesus gave him an answer. Yeah. You know, he told him, if you well, want to be perfect, go yeah. and sell that thou had and give to the poor, and thou should have treasure. Yes, he told him he could have treasure. Yeah. But it's gonna be in heaven. Yeah. But he's more concerned, like so many people today, they concerned about treasure in the grave. On, and you don't know no treasure not going in the grave. I guess he wanna be, let me see how rich I can be in my grave. I don't know what he's thinking about. I heard some people want everything to be buried and put it down in the ground with them. I'm gonna take all my stuff with me. I'm gonna let you know somebody gonna go get that stuff. Somebody gonna try to dig up the other, they gonna put the lights on it, whatever else they need. Folks are stealing from everybody everywhere, every place. Right. So you know they're going to go out there in that cemetery they're going to get whatever they can. That's right. I'm here to let you know but that's what he was dealing with. He asked Jesus. He questioned. He said, what 
shall I do that I may have eternal life? And Jesus gave him the answer. He said, you got to go and sell. You got to go and sell. You got to let go of that stuff. You got to give it up. You got to follow my direction. The steps of a good man are all by the Lord. You got to do it my way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And you got to do it the way I said. He answered him. And he said, and, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Didn't he need to tell him, give it to the rich? Because see, the thing about it, maybe if you give to the rich, you can go back and get it. Think about it. But when you give to the poor, them folks need that money. They need a way out. They, they, but when you give to the rich, that's just a little bit extra money. Say, oh, no, here, go and have it back. That, that $20,000, you know, I can give that right back to you. But he said, give to the poor. Jesus. Give to the ones that's less fortunate. Give yeah. to them. He answered it. He let them know. You, he asked Jesus, and Jesus gave them an answer. And he said, and what? He said, and follow me because he let us know that it comes down that we got to forsake ourselves and the Bible tell us that we got to present our body unto him as a living sacrifice there is no other way and people are trying just like this rich ruler they're trying to find another way but Jesus let them know, oh no, there's no other way. If you want to go to, you want to go my way. You got to do it the way I'm telling you to do it. You got to, there's only one way to enter in. He said, and follow me. That's what he said. And so many people get to us at verse 22. And this is what happened. And when God, when he got the answer. And this is for each and every one to understand. That he has an answer for us. But, but you got to, uh, based on what he tell us in the word, we have to make a decision. All right, now. And the 20 second verse here, and the Bible said, but when the young man heard that, wait a minute. My Lord. I went to church today. My Lord. And I wanted God to send a word of deliverance. My Lord. And God sent a word of deliverance and said, you need to come out of your mess. God sent a word of the living telling you you need to repent. Yeah. God sent a word of the living to let you know you may you need to look look at your life and, and make sure your life is, is in line with his word. Yeah. And, and guess what? You say, I don't want to hear that. That's what he said. He said yeah. he needed to repent. Yeah. He needed to become before God in sincere. Yeah. And he the Bible said, and the young man heard that saying. Jesus. He heard that saying. That's it. And he went away sorrowful because he made up in his mind that I don't want to do that. That's not the way I want to do it. Jesus. That's not the way I want to. I, I, that's not what I want. I want to keep my stuff. And so many people have said, I want to keep my man friend. I want to keep my woman friend. I want to still do my drug. I want to still drink my alcohol. I want to still do the thing that I want to do. I don't want to come out of things that just please God. I want to live my own life. But I'm going to let you know But Jesus Christ said, he said that he, he want to give us a word and let us know you got to put him first. Got to put him first. But he's called them good. That's what he said. But he was, you see, that's how people that they want to, they want to, you know, say things. But the Bible said, but they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from. See, his lips is sound good. What he was saying, good master. Oh my God. You know, you know, uh, Mark talked about how he go down almost on the knees and you know he, he sounds it looks good and so many people on, they look good yeah. in the house of God. They act like you know they, they love the Lord. You know, they, they say, you know, Lord, I love you, but I can't love my, my neighbor, I can't love my friend. Lord, I mean, but it, but he says one thing, but he's doing another. It's hard. It's not right. That's why the Bible said the heart is the seafoam of, of all things and it's desperately wicked. Yes. He needed a way out of his situation, yes. but he was not willing to surrender all. And that's how people live in this hour. Yes. Lord, do it for me, but Lord, I don't want to do it your way. Yes. There is no other way. All right. There is no other way. Lord, right. Lord, I'm tired of, of, of the enemy worrying me out long, all through the day. I hear voices in my head. Lord, you don't know how bad it is. But I'm here to let you know when you hear the word, you got to understand there is no other way. Right. He heard the word. He heard what Jesus had to say to him. Jesus. 
Oh, Jesus said to him in the 21st verse, it was in red, so Jesus was talking. And the 23rd verse, but when the young man heard that sin, Jesus. I like what it said, that sin. So that was a dust sin that he wanted. That sin. And see, that's how it is. This word. All right, now. This word, the, the thing about it, the word comes. And the word comes to let us know about our present situation. Yes, this is an on time word. Yes. There's a word that it, it, it's not going to go yes. high for each and every one of us. That's why you got to understand how precious it is. Yes. That David said, A word have I hid in my heart yes. that I might not sin against thee. Yes, oh, but he, said, but he heard that sin. He went away sorrowful. Right then, when he heard the word, my. like so many people, they hear the word, they make up their mind. I can't live like that. I can't live like that. But I'm here to let you know you can do all things through Christ. That shit to you. But you got to do it, as Paul said, through Christ. You can't do it outside of Christ. There is no other way. You got to understand that people want to make sure that they, that they be in the will of God. Oh, he went away sorrowful because he had great possession. He had so much stuff. Yeah. And people got a lot of stuff in their heart. They got a lot of stuff in their spirit. Yeah. They got a lot of stuff they don't want to let go. And yeah. God cannot bless you. God cannot move unless the stuff is out of the way. Yeah. When he heard that, he said, I want to hang on to my stuff. So many people that come to the house of the Lord, and they want to put the burden down. And then guess what? That don't feel so good. I'm going to pick that burden back up and yeah. take it back with me because I like this feeling of being oppressed, depressed. And all this kind of stuff I got going on. I want to be heavy. But I'm here to let you know the Bible says heaven is the heart of man. Make him stoop. I'm here to let you know I don't want that. But Lord, help me, God, to be seated with you in heavenly places. I want to be with you in heavenly places. And he is like so many people in this hour. Because in the book of Jeremiah, the 6th chapter, 16th verse, it says, Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the, the way and seek. And see and ask for the old path. Yeah. Or oh, ask for the old path. Where is the good way? See, he said, good master. Uh -huh. Some people said, the good way. Yeah. Jeremiah 6, 6, 6. He said, and walk the in and ye shall find rest yes. for your soul. That's it. You can find rest for your soul. Come on, but they said, we will not walk the in. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. That word can deliver me and set me free? Uh -huh. He come to heal the broken hearted? That's he came to set the captive free. Yeah. But I got to I, I gotta take that word and I got to apply it to my life. In other words, I can't live like I want to live. Yeah. But, but, but he said, he said, we will not walk the end. That's what it said. Yeah. And the some people also, I said, watchman over you said, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Hark. You got to listen to what the word is saying. Yeah. You got to listen to the mouthpiece of the Lord. Yeah. But they said, we will not walk. I don't care what these say. I don't care. He, he got that power. I don't care what he said. It's the, the word of the Lord. Yes, Lord. It's the word of the Lord. The watchman is the mouthpiece of the, of, of the word. It's the word of God that's come. And it said, but they said, we will not walk. We won't do it. My Lord, my Lord. That you rich young ruler, that's what he was. Yeah. He said, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. You've got to understand, I got the commandment. But Jesus was letting them know it's just not the commandments. It's by living by every word yes. that proceeded out of mouth of God. Yes. Your heart has to be right. Yes. And I see your heart is not right. And the commandment on the top, you know, there should be no other God before. Yes, the one you got a problem. You got a problem with covenants. Yes. You got a problem with having other gods before me. This stuff that you have. Jesus. And and so many people say, but 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 we were not hearken. And Matthew 7, chapter 13 to 14 verse. The Bible said, it's Matthew 3, 7, 13, 14, it said, enter ye in at the straight gate. That's it. Wait a minute, the gate is, the, is straight. Yes. This, this rich young ruler, he didn't like the straightness of the word. All right. He didn't like, you know, what, what, what Jesus had told him. Yes. He, wanna, he, he, he wanted to do it his way. Mm. But the Bible said, for Jesus. The straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that lead it to destruction. destruction. The word comes to, to make sure we don't go down that bad route. 
And worry kind of makes sure we don't go into a, a time where we can be destroyed because we gotta understand the enemy comes to steal, kill, yes. and destroy. That's but it. but 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 Jesus Christ let know that He come to give us life. That's it. That's where we have a life. We have a life that's abundant life, yes. a life worth living. But but the, but we gotta say the straight came. Yes, Lord. Wide is the gate and proud is the way that leading to destruction. So many people having fun. They're doing things. My. They're achieving things. This rich young ruler had things. Yeah. He had money. He had possession. Yeah. He had power. He had authority. Yeah. It all goes together. He, he may have had a name, but he was going on a way of destruction. And he knew this. But yes, then he came before Jesus yeah. and he tried to cut a deal. He tried to let Jesus, you know, tell me how can I get in? That's basically what he was saying. How can I get it? I, I want eternal life. How can I can I make it right so I can understand and feel what it's like to live forever? Eternal life. You know, and when Jesus wow. told him what it's going to take. Jesus. See, again, so many people want to offer God something that cost them nothing. Right. I just want to give God something that ain't cost me nothing, but that's what he want to do. He just, he just, he just want to offer him something. My. That wasn't going to cost them nothing, but Jesus calls for us a standard. Yes. There's a standard of holiness and righteousness in his dead time. We just can't offer him something. Wow. We got to offer him what he's requiring of us. He yes. told us to have a hunger and thirst after righteousness. That's what he told us to do. Yes. He told us, as David said, he said, he said, where with thou shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed to the word, the word of God. He said, with my whole heart, have I sought out to thee? Let me not want He said, I did it with my whole heart. Yes. I will do it half-heartedly. Right. I will do it with my whole heart. I will, I will seek it for you, Lord. I will, I will, I will I'm making sure that when my mind was made up, my heart is fixed. I am determined oh. to live for you. Yes, Lord. Oh, but the destruction. Yes. Many. Yes. You look out in the world, there's going to be so many folks. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of folks. A lot of folks going, you know, doing a lot of things. But the Bible says many. Yeah. Many, many there be which go there. That's going to be a lot of folks going to go the wrong way. That's a lot of folks. I've seen driving down the road how so many people, as soon as the traffic pile up, somebody jump over on the median. Somebody go down the grass and, and all of a sudden, oh, he made it. Okay, let me try. Yeah. Oh, he, let me try. Yeah. You have, you have all, a half of the, 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 the maybe say the, the road you're driving on, they're going down over. I even see people come back the, 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 the same direction. They turn around, you're supposed to be going north, and they're coming back at you south. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. They're trying to find a way because somebody decided to do it. So, because somebody decided to do it, we're going to do it also. And I thank God, all of a sudden I saw the man that says, I'm the police. And then all of a sudden, all that shut down. All right. Because they know they was wrong. Yes. That all it's going to do cause somebody to get hurt. Yes, yes. But there's so many going their way because they see some, so many. It look like it's the right way. Right. It look like it's the, the way to go. It look yes. like it's the, the, the way to get to where I need to go. Yes. Many are going to go there. Yeah. Yes. But the Bible said, because Jesus. the 14th verse, because straight is the gate. Come on. And narrow is the way. Yes. But the thing about this, the Bible said, which leadeth unto life. Amen. This narrow way. Yes. Leadeth unto life. Life. It leadeth unto life. And see, so many times people think there's only a few people. But I'm going to let you know. That's the Come way that Jesus Christ has prepared yes. for us yes. to follow after him. Jesus. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. That's right. See, you know, he didn't have a lot of followers. He didn't, you know, they followed him when they did follow him for the fishes and the loaves. That's and see, so you got to understand there was only a few. And you, but, but you got to look at the word of God. It says here that, it says that which leads to life and few there be that find it. 
It's only going to be a few that's going to find it. I'm going to be a few that said, Lord, I'm going to walk in your way. I'm going to keep your commandments. I'm going to do what you said. You look at the rich young ruler, as much money that he had, you think he said, you know, I had enough money. I, I had enough money. I don't need no more money. You know, I want salvation. I want the way of eternal life. You would think that yeah. he had enough was enough. But you can hear, you got to understand, when sin is finished, it brings forth death. The enemy want to take each and every one of us out. You got to know that the word let us know that the Bible let us know it's not money, but it said the love of money is the root of all evil. That's and it. see, that's the thing. He had a love of money. First Timothy 6 and 10. Yeah. He said, while some covenant after. That's what he did. They have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yes. Oh, that's what he did. Yes, yes. He pierced himself. Yes, he he covered it. Yes. And it cost him. Yes. And, and But there is no other way. We've got to understand there's no other way to please God but the way he has given unto us. And he told him you know, that he must forsake himself. He told him that he had to put his hands to the plow right. and, and not look back. He let him know that this is the only way you're going to be able to make it in. Go he said, ahead. follow me. Oh, but he, he had great sorrow. He had great possession. Yes. Can you imagine he went before him all excited? He was all excited. Good master. Good master. Jeez. And then all of a sudden when he heard, he dropped his head. Oh. He dropped his head and he was he was sorry. Don't you know Jesus knew his heart? Yes. Joe, Jesus knows all of our heart. Yes. He don't care about what we say, how we act. See, he had the action. He had the he, he had the he, he, he was talking the talk. He was saying all the things. I guess when other folks around sound good, but Jesus knew his heart. Mark said he saw him. Yes. Talk about how he looked at him. He looked at him. And he let him know that there was something that wasn't right there. And just like he looked at him, he, he wanted to make sure we understand there's something not right. And we just cannot be playing around. We just not be acting like it. But there is no other way. There's only one way that's going to please God. Amen. My Lord. And the Bible says here, as I go back to Matthew, it says that it says Jesus said unto his disciples, he, I'm talking to his and they, they want to say, they, a rich man, he said, Harley, and he said, a rich man can get it. He said, Harley. He said, Harley. They, they were just saying, a rich man, Harley. And you got to understand that, but but you got to know that God has to be first. You cannot let right. other things get in our way. That's right. Other things, other people, other things that consume our time, it has to be God's way and God's way only. Yes. You know, you know, and, and you know that the Bible says here that, and he let him know that's easy for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. You got to look at how he looked at this compassion that He said, this is the time for a rich man because his mind got to be right. Yeah. His heart ha has to be right. Yeah. You got to be sold and, and committed to say, Lord, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Yeah. Because of the possession. Because these people get caught up in possession. And that's why the Bible let them know we can't serve two masters. That's because right. people get caught up in serving mammon. They get caught up in serving Stuff. Yeah. But God let this man know, this rich young ruler know that money cannot be your God. Right. And money had became his God. Money had became what was consuming him. His possession had became what, what he was most proud of. Because when he had the opportunity, he let his mind drift in to say, you know what, I can't, I can't give it up. And so many people saying this time, I can't give it up. I just can't let it go. And people that's on addiction, I can't let it go. I can't give it up. And God wants us to give it up. God wants to trust them. God wants to, as I said, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. God wants to trust them like that. And see, you got to make sure that you trust them like that. You know, because if you don't trust them with all your heart, guess what you're going to do? You're going to lean to your own understanding. But the Bible says, lean not to your own understanding. But all our ways are knowledge here. Yes, Lord. You got to trust God like that. Trust him. That you said, Lord, I know what your word said, and I'm going to do it. Jesus. Lord, I'm not going to try to, 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 to talk you out Jesus. of your, your holy standard, because Jesus. his is standard. You know, God has given us a standard we are to trust in. We are, yeah. like the Bible said, you know, not only his word, but we got to understand his word, what it is, is a lamb yeah. to our feet. 
That's it. It's a lamp to our feet. This word will guide us in yes. places that we can't see. It will guide us in situations that we don't understand. Yes. And, and we, we just don't know it's a lamp to our feet. Yes. You know, we can we have a, a lighted path That's when it. we trust his word. Yeah. You know, and God want to make sure that he light our path yes. so we can make it to where we need to make it, to yeah. where we can do it, to where it pleases him, to where it glorify him That's in it. his time. That's yes. it. There's no other way. We look at the word of God. He says, easier. But when the disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed. And they were, sh and see, that's what, who can, who can, I don't know how to say, I don't know how it's going to work. If this man has money, yeah. it can't make it in. If this man, they have possession, it can't make it in. If this man has power, it can't make it in. So you can't get caught up in people with stuff. You know, I know everybody think folks that close, you know, I, oh, they're anointed. I know they're anointed. I know they're anointed. I see what they drive. I see what they live in. Oh, I know they're anointed. Yeah. My Lord. Oh, my God. I know. I see how big the church is. I know they're anointed. I see what they got. I see it. I see it. I know they're close to God. Mm. But I'm here to let you know, this is not what the word is saying. All right. He let them know that you got to be willing to go and sail and you got to come and follow me. He let them know you got to lose something. You got to, you got to give up. You got to give up. You got to make sure that if you come out to me, you got to deny yourself. That's it. Take up your cross. That's it. Your cross. Yeah. Not his cross. He's buried his cross. Take up your cross. That's it. And, 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 and they, said, they don't know. They said, my God, who then can be saved? They put it all about, they got caught up in the position. They got caught up in the stuff because they knew with the amount of money he had, he had to be, he, he, he can get in. My. But I'm here to let you know, that's not going to get none of us in because there's only one way that Jesus Christ has said, I am the way, I'm the truth, and I am the life. And the Bible goes on and says here, but Jesus beheld them and said unto them, he got to let them know, come on, come on back. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure you understand one thing. Yeah. Don't look at what he said. Don't look at what he had. Don't look at what happened. You got to know to man. Yeah. See, we're nothing without God. Yeah. None of us are nothing without God. We can't do nothing without him. Right. You know, it's impossible. It's impossible, and, and we got to know it's impossible to live this life without God. we got to make sure God is the one that we, we lean and depend on, and we're going to say, Lord, Lord, I'm nothing without you, God. I can't make it without you, Lord. I need your help each and every hour. I'm going through trial and test. That's why he said he's a refuge for each and every one of us. The name of the Lord is that strong tower. we got to have him at all times. He keeps us. He will keep us in perfect peace, don't you know? In this hour, we need some peace. We need perfect peace. See, this young man, he was only concerned about his P-I-E-C-E, -E, his peace, his, 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 his possession, his money. But he did not have the P-E-A-C-E -E he needed. That's why he went to Jesus. That, that stuff wasn't good enough. Isn't it amazing how people can come to the Lord and they know their situation is not good enough. Yeah. And they come to God and say, Lord, I need your help. And when he tells them what he needs to do, yeah. when he let them know there is no other way, then they say, my God, I don't oh, want to do it like that. Oh, I don't want it like that. Oh, let me just please. He put his head down Jesus. and went away sorrowful. My he met the Savior. Yes. He met the only way that was going to meet his need. And he put his head down Jesus. and went away sorrowful. Jesus. I can't live like that. Jesus. And that's what the devil want to say to yeah. every one of us. Yeah. You can't live like that. Jesus. But you got to know that only Christ. through Jesus, Jesus. Christ. Jesus. See, the Bible said he didn't come into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him. Might be saved. The only way you're going to be able to live it is through Jesus Christ. Oh, he's the one that gives us the strength and ability. He's the one that tells us to put on the whole armor. We can put on the whole armor of God. We can stand in this hour. We can resist the enemy. We know he come as a royal eye. We know what he's designed to do. 
But we got to know what the word said. When man is impossible. All right. It is. Yeah. It is. Somebody that done, they say, well, you know, you understand my addiction. Jesus Christ does. Amen. He said, he said in the word of God, he let us know that he came in the volume of the book. That's it. He came in the volume of the book to do the will of his father. He came right. to he came to set the liberal. The Bible yeah. said he came in the likeness of sinful flesh. That's it. For sin. He came for sin. That's he it. came to rescue each and every one of us yeah. from sin. That's it. So whatever sin that you're in today, whatever, whatever you right now you find that God is able to deliver yeah. you and set you free. Yeah. You understand? I'm in a relationship. No, God is able to bring you out of that relationship that you should be in. That's right. God is the God. He wants us to live a life that's pleasing and acceptable unto him. He wants to know that, that he's first in everything yeah. you do. Make sure God is first in everything that you do. Yes. Acknowledge him. That's it. He want to give you direction. He want to give you guidance. Yes. He said to man, it is impossible. Yes. Oh, but we serve a God and he's, he has no limits to him. Yes. We serve a God there is no limits to him. No limits. Oh, but we weak, he's strong. That's it. Oh, that's what he is. Oh, but we have no hope. He is hope. Oh, he gives us everything we need. Yes. What well, we are sorry he has to give us happiness. Yes. That's the God. When our heart is overwhelmed, he, he gives us what we need. He lifts us up. Yes. That's no limits to him. Oh, but with men, but with God, all things. All things. Yes. All things that unto him that's able. That's it. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly. Above all we can ask a thing. Above all we can ask a thing. Oh, there's no other way. We gotta understand there's no other way that we're gonna find what we need. There's no other way we're gonna live the life that we need to live unless we live it in according to his word. We can't do it outside of God. People trying to live a life outside of God. They try to make it in outside of the word of God, the standard of God. It's the standard of God. It's the, the living a life that God is requiring for us in this hour of righteousness, of holiness. He said the things are possible with God. You can do it when you trust God. You can do it when you delight yourself in the Lord. When you trust God for do what only God can do, yes, God. there is no other way, saints. Yeah. Don't let the enemy try to sway you no other way. This young man tried to look for another way, but Jesus let him know, oh no, this is the only way you're going to get in. This is the only way you're going to be able to make it in. He said you got to go and say, you got to give up something. Yes. You can't go with that, that package. So many people trying to get in heaven with packages. They're trying to get into heaven with, with things that, that's in their hearts, on their lives. You know, just like trying to get through an airport. If it's not right, you cannot get through that's with right. stuff that's going to interfere with boarding. Oh, just like it is. When it comes to go to heaven, you can't get in with stuff going to interfere with you. Get in a place where you can board to yeah. go to heaven. You got, you know, you, you, it's no way you're going to be able to make it in. Nah. You got to make sure that your your ticket is ready. You got to make sure that the Jesus. day you have fought your heart, not your heart. That's so it. many times we look around, we think about it, say, Lord, help us, God. And it's our to be in, but God has given us everything we need. Everything. And everything we need is in the word of God. Yeah. And what we need to do when we find ourselves in a place that we don't know, just look at the word and say, Lord, you, we can trust you, God. Yeah. We can believe in what you said. We can believe in what you're doing. That's it. And with God, all things are possible. Yeah. There is no other way. Amen. Let us pray. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Let's look at we thank you for watching this video on today. And at this time, we want to offer you salvation. And what you may ask, well, what is salvation? Salvation is having faith in Jesus Christ and living a life that is pleasing and acceptable to God, a life free from sin. And so if you don't have that assurance on today that you've been saved, that you uh, are living a life pleasing unto God, then we want to offer you that invitation on today. Um, to have that opportunity to have that assurance to know that you are saved and, and understanding that salvation is not a thing 
that I, it's not a thing that you have to do outside of just confessing that you are a sinner and that you need a savior. And the Bible lets us know that if you will confess from your mouth that you are a sinner, confess from your mouth that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and God rose him on the third day, then you can be saved. All you have to do is just repeat that prayer and say, God, I'm a, I'm a sinner, God, and I need you to save me. And the moment that you ask God to save you, that by the words and by believing in your heart that you are saved. And in that moment that God accepts you as a new creature and he will remember those sins no more. And if you pray that prayer, then after that, you have to pray and ask God that, God, I need you to fill me with your precious Holy Ghost so that I can live a life that is pleasing and acceptable unto you. And if you pray and ask God that simple prayer that God will fill you in that moment with his spirit so that you can live a life free from sin. And if you pray that prayer, then I invite you, if you're in the Rosenberg area, to come and join us here. We're Rosenberg Full Gospel Holy Temple, 1705 4th Street in the city of Rosenberg, Texas, 77471. So we invite you to come if you're in the area. If you're not, feel free to reach out to any one of our churches in the Full Gospel Holy Temple organization or any church that is preaching the word of God in sincerity in its entirety. And we invite you to plug in to a church that is preaching the word of God so that you can live a life that is pleasing and acceptable to God. God bless you.